Hey, <laughs> well, look at here. I actually have a camera on Rosh Hashanah, which is the day that Jews celebrate around the year, which they call the Happy New Year, you know, the New Year. But the problem is that Rosh Hashanah actually isn't this year in sync with the biblical holiday of Yom Teruah. And so uh, last year this time I was actually in Israel and I got to say something, I'm just a little frustrated. We were actually going to try to give you an entire program about the seventh month, but things being what they are, so many things going on, different projects, we weren't able to do that. So at least I have you here for something I'm going to do in preparation for Yom Teruah. Leviticus 23 verse 24 talks about Yom Teruah and here's what we know about it. God actually set his clock in the sky so we can know exactly when Yom Teruah it is. Now unfortunately this year, as it was last year, Rosh Hashanah is not in sync with Yom Teruah. That's another subject. What I really wanted to do is to help some of you that are going to be getting out your shofars and blowing them during either your Rosh Hashanah service or your Yom Teruah service. Just between you and me, I dislike I actually hate the sound of bad shofar blowing. So I'd like to help you by giving you a quick little lesson on how to blow a shofar. Now, of course, there's no mouthpiece here, so it's all in the position of your lips. Here's what I'd like to hear, give, you, give you right now, is if you put your lips tight like this and you make this sound, if you make that sound, the tighter you make your lips, the higher the sound of the shofar. So watch. Did you get that? Now, look at how pure that sound is. Now, at the BFA, Biblical Foundations Academy, we have a little tune that we actually like to play, which you actually can learn to do with your shofar. We use, I believe it is, three different tones. What am I doing? I'm actually tightening my lips the higher that I need to go. So this is a very simple little lesson that I'm giving you. Hopefully you guys are going to be prepared for Yom Teruah. And the truth of the matter is, we're not going to know when it is until we see God's clock in the sky, the beginning of the seventh month, which we believe, based on estimates, will be Saturday night after Shabbat that we'll look up in the sky, we'll see the first sliver of the new moon, the beginning of the seventh month, and I'll be taking out my shofar, which by the way, this shofar has been all over the world. In fact, last year during Rosh Hashanah, the Israeli military traded me this shofar for their shofar, and they blew it in their services, and I'm so excited to have it back here. In fact, I almost want to give this thing away if someone could help us produce the seventh month series for Time Will Tell. That's another discussion. If you get moved by it, give us a call and maybe we'll work out a deal. Happy Yom Teruah. Here's what I'd like to hear you give you right now is if